As the temperatures soar outside, the temperature inside your vehicle can top well over 100 degrees in a matter of minutes. Meteorologist Kyle Keel joins us now with a demonstration inside the station vehicle that you've had out there for a while, Kyle. Yeah, we've been out here for about an hour, Paula, and at our 5 o'clock news, I was actually inside the car with the AC on full blast. The temperature outside was 90 degrees. Inside, it was a very comfortable 71.7 degrees. After 10 minutes, that temperature went up to 98 degrees, and after 20 minutes, that temperature was nearly 120 degrees at 117.1 degrees. And now we're going to open up the vehicle. It's been sitting out here in the sun for an hour. Of course, it's a darker vehicle, so it's uh, definitely going to absorb the heat uh, just a little bit more and we've got the temperature here of 127.5 degrees that is how much the inside of this vehicle our tv6 station vehicle warmed up in the matter of an hour so it is very very important that no one leaves any children or any pets inside a heated ve or an un unattended vehicle in the heat. Even when it's 70 degrees, within a matter of a half hour, that inside of the vehicle can get up to 100 degrees. In fact, according to NoHeatStroke.org, about 38 people, kids, die every year. And that's just 38 children too many who get heat stroke after being left inside the vehicle. And already this year in 2022, there have been four people that have been killed under a year old inside these hot vehicles. So always, always, always look before you lock. And of course, in this heat, stay safe and stay hydrated. Live in Davenport, Kyle Keel, TV6 News. Kyle, thank you. That is a uh, dramatic and that uh, that temperature even higher than I thought it could be. This is a good time for you to download our QC weather app for the latest weather updates and alerts.